Out of bio, no, Jokic was there. Nuggets have five on four. And Jokic, oh no! That is ridiculous. And a lot of ridiculous things have happened since my last video, so I'm back with another one. Um, and what you just watched was Nikola Jokic body checking uh, Markeith Morris. Yeah, Markeith Morris. Down to the ground after Markeith, you know, hit a little dirty shot to him before, you know? Now, Jokic does protect himself when he's on the court. He showed signs of, you know, he won't just let a guy bully him. But this was like. This is next level. He actually. I think that you can tell from the clip, but like it's coming up. Look, you can see him. He's trying to get back up and retaliate, but he can't. Like, Jokic literally physically injured him. So I'll take you to this clip. So Markeith is mad after the no call on Bam. Then he comes here, checks him to the left. And obviously, as you can see, Jokic is trying to make a pass down court. Trying to, you know, continue the fast break. And then what happens, as you already saw, Jokic, with the big retaliation, a full run-up and a right-sided body check. Now, I understand. The Morris, bro the Morris brothers have done a lot, a lot of bad behavior in the NBA. And this is sort of like karma. And I'm not happy he's injured, but I'm glad that they they finally got a taste of their own medicine, you know? Now, I don't think they've done anything this bad, but they've done a lot of bad things, and all those added up, I think, kind of equals this, so. It's part karma, but at the same time, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Jokic will be suspended for one game, and Markeith Morris is fined $50,000 for this altercation. And after that big problem, Let's move on to the next NBA news. Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry, okay. 50 points, 7 rebounds, 10 assists, 3 steals, and a block. Yeah, 9 threes on 50% from the field, 47% from 3, and didn't miss a free throw. I think would if I say this and if you don't agree then I th I think it's I think it's a hot take to say that Steph isn't the MVP right now. They are. Wait, wait let, uh, let me let me make sure let me make sure I'm getting this right. They I'm pretty sure that they are nine and one right now. Nine and one. And yes, they are nine and one this season. The Golden State Warriors without Clay yet are nine and one, and Steph so far. Steph is putting up 27 and a half, 6 and a half, and 6 and a half in 10 games with one and a half steals and a block. I don't I don't know. I don't understand how this guy is this good. And now I I didn't have him for my for me my best players list honestly is like Giannis. Giannis at 1, um LeBron at 2, KD at 3. Uh, probably Luca and then Steph at five. I have to, I have to move Steph up the list now. And I just told you guys my top ten, by the way. But yeah, I have to. Well, not top ten, my top five. But I have to move Steph up, Steph up the list now because it's stupid what he's doing. Right now, what he's doing is stupid. Now I'm gonna go through every single one of his games from worst to best right now, and you tell me if this guy isn't the MVP. Okay. So at number ten. I have his 20 points, three, three rebounds, and two assists. Then I have his 19, three, and six. Then I have his 20, 25, and six. Then I have his 23, six, and four. Then I have his 15, eight, and nine. Then I have his 21, 10, and 10. Then I have his 27, seven, and 10. And after the 21, 10, and 10, that's when it kind of gets ridiculous because now it is 36, seven, and eight. 45 10 and 1 and one steal and the ridiculous game that he put up yet that he did against the Hawks that you're watching right now on your screen 50 7 and 10 on ridiculous efficiency he, he his efficiency was he was 50 49 in this game well almost 50 50 100 
because he went 50, 47, and 100 in this game. I could go on for days telling you why Steph is a ridiculous talent, but that, that would be a 15 hour long video. But, like, it's ridiculous what he's doing, man. Like, it's really unbelievable. It's really, really unbelievable. And now to end off the video, I'm just gonna go over some of the, um, some of the best games from yesterday. Yesterday, the best game for me, in my opinion, was Giannis putting up 31, 16, and, 10, and, and 4. And the second best was Andre Drummond putting up 17 and 20. It's another good game. Kevin Herter put up 28, 3 and 3 on... What's the percentage? Can't even see it. Oh, yeah, 61% from the field. Damian Lillard put up 27, 5 and 6. He's kind of starting to, you know, pick it back up after that terrible four-point game that I told you guys about. Donovan Mitchell getting his buckets as usual, putting up 27. And the last game I'm going to tell you about... Or no, the second last game, Tyrese Maxey put up 31, 5, and 4. And Paul George put up 24, 9, and 7, keeping up his amazing playing. And yeah, that was the video. So far this season, what I want to say is Paul George is putting up 27, 8, and 5. That's the last thing I got to say. And yeah, peace.